Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, we're tracking Cyclone Holler, which on Thursday morning became a severe Category 4 tropical cyclone. This is where it lies at the moment, just uh, west of Vanuatu. It made landfall there on Wednesday. So being Category 4, the winds are now sustained at 170 kilometres an hour. That is likely to lift up to 200 kilometres an hour by the end of Thursday and going into Friday. So New Caledonia and the southern islands of Vanuatu on high alert. Back in New Zealand, we've got a low pressure system around the North Island that brought some dramatic thunderstorms to northern parts of Auckland on Wednesday night. There could be a few more thunderstorms and big downpours around parts of the North Island as we go through Thursday. But the South Island's much calmer. There's a bit of a cooler southerly though coming in for you. This is the latest tracking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. We've got good news and bad. The good news is that the European modelling, which was showing it going out into the Tasman, has today pulled it back out more in line with the Americans. The bad news is the American modelling has shifted it just a tiny bit closer to New Zealand, but still, hopefully, just far enough east to not cause too many serious issues. But it is a very, very close call at this stage based on the modelling, as you can see. Now, the areas with purple, that means the area with the damaging winds, the gale force winds. So that is very close to New Zealand, but the worst of it, according to the latest modeling out of America, is going to be out at sea. But we still need to wait another couple of days to lock it all in. This is how Friday shapes up. The North Island low drifts out to the east. The strong easterly winds now cover both islands, easterly quarter, coming in from the northeast, east or southeast. There'll be showers along the eastern coast, but sunny for many other places. By Saturday, mostly settled around the South Island and the North Island as well will be fairly sunny, although there will be a bit of a breezy southeasterly. A couple of showers still lingering around Hawke's Bay, Gisborne and maybe a couple up around the far north. Then we get to Sunday and things start to look a little bit more serious as the cyclone comes in. So the winds are going to pick up around the eastern side of the upper North Island and the easterlies continue on for the rest of the North Island while the South Island is settled under high pressure. And then we get to Monday, and this is when Holler is most likely to come in. So the American modeling shows it coming right in closely, but the worst of the wind and rain, mainly out at sea, and it brushes by East Cape and Gisborne. The winds could be strong enough though to bring damaging gusts to some areas, but this is not yet locked in. But like I say, there is a bit of alignment now. We're seeing this sort of eastern line, and whether or not it just gets a little bit close like this and causes some severe weather in New Zealand, or tomorrow we might be looking at a model that shows it just a little bit further out to sea. So it still remains one to watch. But I'll end on a bit of a positive. This is the Tuesday map at this stage, and it shows the cyclone or the remnants of it well away from us. So it will speed up, we think, as it comes into New Zealand. So it's still not yet locked in. We'll give you another day for that. We'll give you the next video update on Friday.